So we've already covered the line segment tool, the curvature tool, the pen tool, and some of the shape tools, but we haven't looked at the arc tool yet. That's in today's video. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you stick around. I have a lot of fresh content coming in 2020 that you're gonna to wanna to be here for. So the arc tool is one of those things that it can be used to create some pretty unique shapes if you know what you're doing. It's not a hard tool to use. I mean, I keep saying that, I know, but these tools are really simple. You just gotta use them. I get a lot of comments in the Facebook groups with people saying, well, why don't you just use this? The point of these videos is to show you that there's more than one way to do things inside of Adobe Illustrator. So if you find a way that works for you, awesome, use it. I wanna show you guys all the different tool options because that way when we get into the future videos and we start dealing with actual projects, you're not stuck only having to do this with the Shape Builder tool if you've never used the Shape Builder tool in your career. Okay, so let's hop over into Illustrator that way and have a look at what we can do with the Arc tool. All right, so here we are in Illustrator again. I've just went ahead and created a 1080 by 1080 artboard. Now to access the Arc tool, you're gonna to find it under your Line Segment tool. So if I hit the backward slash on your keyboard, and then you can scroll down to Arc Tool, or you can just click on your Line Segment Tool and then mouse down to Arc Tool. So in its simplest form, the Arc Tool is exactly that. It's for creating arcs. And if I just drag out an arc like this, you can see that we get sort of that round edge, but it's not a full rectangle. I can use my up and down arrow keys, change the amount of the arc from convex to concave, I hold this all the way down, it's gonna flip once it hits that zero and go the other direction on me. A Couple of other modifier keys that we can use while we're drawing. If I hit the F key, it automatically flips the arc for me back and forth. If I hit the C key, it's gonna close the arc for me. And if I hit the X key, it then goes convex instead of concave. As soon as I'm done, what I need, I just let go and we're left with this kind of shape. Now we can use these shapes for many different things. I could take this and we can just copy and paste a new version of it there. Take that, give it a quick rotation. I'd wanna straighten it up just a little bit, but now depending on what you're working with, that could be the start of a logo. And it was all of just a few seconds to come up with a concept. Now I don't believe in just kind of randomly creating logo designs. I'm still of the old school where I start with a sketchbook, draft out some ideas, bring those into Illustrator, and that's the kind of stuff we're gonna get into down the road with this channel. But you can see, I mean, sometimes it just, my sketchbook isn't working for me. So I'll come in here and just play with shapes and see what I can come up with, and they'll spark some creativity for me. So that might be one idea there. Now, if I also want to, I can, of course, click on the artboard and get various options for creating these arcs. I can start with the X and Y axis lengths, what type of arc I want, whether it's open or closed, where my base is. So am I running my baseline along the X or Y axis? Do I want a concave or convex arc? You can go fill arc, but if you don't have any fill on, it's not gonna do that for you. So if I go here and we select, let's go with the red, I'm gonna delete this one really quick and we're just gonna do another one. I get rid of fill arc. You see it does it without the fill. And then if I do select a fill again and create a new one and go fill arc, we're then gonna get that pink color. Now again, this works just like any other shape. I can transform this, I can rotate it, I can scale it. I can do all the other things that I wanna do with any other shape with this shape. If you're working with it as an open path, you can then use all of your various path tools. I can come in and put say another point there, drag that up and create various shapes with this. So that's it for this one designers. Again, pretty easy to use. Some pretty neat shapes that you can make with it. And I, I know, I, I said it before, but I'm just gonna say it again. I know you can do this with the Shape Builder tool. You can do this with rounded rectangles. There's lots of different ways you can do it. I just wanna show you all the various options that you have available to you inside of Illustrator. All right designers, so that's it for this one. If you're enjoying this series, maybe you just stopped here. You can subscribe to the channel right here. I've also got more videos in this series. This is day 20 now. You can find the rest of the series up here. So I'll see you in the next video. Now get out there and design something. I'm collecting mugs and not in a good way. I mean, I'm collecting like coffee cups because I've been recording and not taking them upstairs with me to put them in the dishwasher.